In this video, I'm going to show you a simple two-step process that anyone can learn to calculate ROI. Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt! Hi, this is Jeff Schmidt with HolySchmidt.com and Deductions.tax, and welcome to another video. Hey, if you want to learn how to gain control of your finances, cut your taxes, maybe even build a small business that can take you into retirement, you've come to the right place. Just make sure you subscribe below and turn on notifications so that you get alerted the next time I post a video. I post about twice a week. In this video, I'm going to take the mystery out of return on investment or ROI. I'm going to show it to you three different ways. A simple calculation of ROI, like the buying and selling of a stock. A more complicated calculation of ROI, like buying and selling investment property that has rents to pay you along the way. And the third method is going to be for a complicated cash flow stream like a variable annuity. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you how to spot an investment with negative ROI. You definitely want to be able to know how to do this. ROI means return on investment and it's just simply the profit that you made on investment divided by the cost of the investment. It's a percentage number. And it's a simple two-step calculation, and I'm going to take you through step one and step two right now. Step one is calculating the profit that you made in dollar terms. And all that you do is you add up all of the payments that you received, including the return of your investment. We'll call those PR, and you subtract all the payments out. We'll call that PO. So if you bought a share of stock for $100 and you sold it two years later for $150, you received $150, that's your payment received, and you invested $100 that your payment made. So your profit is 150 minus 100 or $50. But that's not your return on investment. Return on investment, remember, is a percentage number. Step two is converting your profit to a percentage. That will become your return on investment or your ROI. You take your net income, your $50, your profit, and you divide it by the purchase price, that's $100, and you come up with a 0.5. You simply take that 0.5, multiply it times 100 and add a, add a percentage sign, and you have 50%. So your ROI on an investment that you bought for $100 and sold later for $150 is 50%. But what if it's not two simple payments? What if it's rental property? Let's say you buy a rental home for $100,000 and you sell it 10 years later for $130,000. And along the way, you receive net rents of $500 a month or $6,000 a year. Net rents means net of things like your mortgage payment and your cost of insurance, etc. So you make another $6,000 a year on top of your $130,000 at the end. So 6,000 times 10 is $60,000. So you add up your payments received, that's $130,000 plus $60,000. That's $190,000. And you subtract your payment out or the payment that you made to buy the property. That's $100,000. And your cash return, your profit, is $90,000. You divide that by your purchase price of $100,000. And you come up with 0 0.9. 0 0.9 times 100 plus a percentage sign is 90%. So your ROI on the property investment is 90%. Not bad. Now let's talk about something a little bit more complicated. Let's talk about an annuity. Now annuities generally have a, an upfront payment and a payment of cash flows for the life of the annuity, but you don't get any money back at the end. So let's say that you bought an annuity for $1,000 and that annuity guaranteed you a return of $100 a year for the next 12 years. Well, your payments in would be $100 times 12 or $1,200. Your payment out would be a thousand. That was your upfront investment. So your profit would be two hundred dollars. But again, that's not your ROI. That's just simply your your net income or your profit. You divide two hundred by your initial thousand dollar investment, and you have a 0.2 as a result. Multiply that times a hundred. Add a percentage sign, and your ROI, your return on investment for your annuity, is twenty percent. Now I'm going to show you how to identify negative ROI. This is really important. And we're going to take something complicated like an annuity because you see this more often than you would expect from insurance companies and others that 
really assume that you can't do basic math. Let's say you bought an annuity again for $1,000 and instead of giving you payments in of $100 a year, they give you payments in of $80 a year for the next 12 years. 80 times 12 is $960. So you bought the annuity for $1,000, they're promising you $960 back, so you have a negative $40 return, a negative $40 of net income, it's, that's called a net loss. You divide negative 40 by 1,000, and that gives you a negative 0.04, multiply that times 100 and add a percentage sign, and that's a negative 4%. So that annuity has negative ROI of 4%. Hey, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and notifications below so that you get notified the next time I post a video. Also, check out these two videos, which will give you really important information around retirement planning. This is Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching.